Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Miss Elaine of the Ghetto Stories, and this is Fam TV. I am Naomi Nwanyoma Hatshepsut Abiola, and you are watching Fam TV. I'm Sharma McDonald, and you're watching Fam TV. Yo, what up, everybody? This is Muna, and you're watching Fam TV. Big up. Hey, it's Maya. Hey, it's Jade. And you're watching Fam TV. Warmest greetings, uh, Brother Dre. It's a pleasure to meet you. And greetings to all of the Fam family who are listening in. Uh, my name is Sister Tandyway. I am a lawyer. I am also um, a good friend of Brother Sankofa, who is a well-respected leader in our community. Um, he is well-loved and does a lot of fundraising and educational work on behalf of the African or the black community. So tonight is a very special night. We're here in Brampton at Tropical Paradise uh, because it's Brother Sankofa's birthday. Uh, his birthday is on the 14th of August, three days before the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey's birthday. So we're here tonight to support him with his fundraising effort for Haiti. He will be traveling to Haiti this coming week to continue to do work among our people in, in Haiti to help build uh, schools and to help educate our people and empower them. So. I'm very honored and privileged to be here tonight to support Brother Sankofa and the great work that he's doing. And I hope that those of you who are listening, elders, sisters and brothers, will be inspired to do something in the community. There are big needs, not only in Canada, but in places like Haiti, Africa and around the Pan-African world. Greetings, fam family. Uh, once again, my name is Sister Tandy Way. I'm a lawyer. I'm also a member of a Pan-African organization called the All African People's Revolutionary Party. Please do not be afraid of that name. All it means is that we as black people, uh, wherever we are, we need to organize, we need to educate ourselves, and also to heal from the self-hatred that this system of white supremacy has taught us. So the All African People's Revolutionary Party is a Pan-African party that was started by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in 1968 in Ghana and at that time in history our people in Africa, the Caribbean and around the world were fighting against colonization which was the theft of our land and the imposing of a foreign um, value system and ideology on our people which was not to our benefit of course so we're having Pan-African Women's Day uh, this coming Saturday August the 18th at the Jamaican Canadian Community Centre at 995 Arrow Road in North York. It will be uh, from 3.30 to 8 p.m. Now, Pan-African Women's Day uh, is commemorated officially on August 9th, 1956 it started, and it is to recognize the contributions of black women all over the world. It's actually um, a movement that started in Azania in South Africa in 1956 at the height of the anti-apartheid movement. Uh, that's the movement that was led to some extent by a uh, great son of Africa, uh, Nelson Mandela, and his queen, Winnie Mandela, who transitioned to the ancestors in April of this year. So there will be at the event um, vendors, we will have some tasty, nutritious food. Um, but most importantly, we're going to have an interactive panel discussion about the blockbuster success of the Black Panther movie, which has slept the, swept the black world in, in terms of its popularity and its positive message about Africa and our people. Uh, in that movie, you could see that black women, African women, played a very prominent role, the queen, um, played a prominent role, Angela Bassett and so forth. So we're going to have a panel discussion about that and what it means for our community. Secondly, we're going to have um, sisters in the community who own businesses. They are going to talk about their businesses uh, so we can be inspired to know 
that there are black women and we know our brothers own businesses as well but because this is Pan-African Women's Day we're focusing on the sisters who own businesses that benefit our community. Um, so please come out. Economic self-reliance for our people is very, very important. We should be teaching our children and I'm very passionate about this because I have two beautiful young sons who are in their teens. We must teach our children not to be workers for other people. We need to teach them to run their own businesses. It's okay to do your apprenticeship and training as I've done as a lawyer with other people but run our own businesses. I have my own law practices, so I'm practicing what I preach. I don't believe that we going into the second half of, well not the second half, but into the next phase of the 21st century should be teaching our children to just get a job when they grow up. Teach them to be a plumber, a lawyer, a doctor, a scientist, a teacher, whatever it is that they want to be, and let them run things. Let them be the boss. Let them be the ones who control the finances. Too often, we are following behind other people. And I must remind our viewers out there that we are the original people. That when the Creator made humanity, the Creator made us first. The first people to walk on Mother Earth's soil are black people, African people, who were based in Africa. They look like me and you. So we don't need to follow the Chinese. We don't need to follow the Indians because we're the original people. We built the first civilizations. We're the masterpiece. Everybody else is a copy with due respect. We don't need to follow anybody else. We have so many examples of powerful people in our community who have built successful businesses, right? So we don't need to follow anybody. So please come out to Pan-African Women's Day on Saturday, August the 18th. 3.30 to 8 p.m. The theme is very important. Let me see if I can get it right. It's a long theme. But the theme is divided by colonial borders, united by history and culture, Africa must unite. So that theme is saying that all of our people around the world, even though we've been divided by colonization in Jamaica, Trinidad, Ghana, wherever, We've been colonized, not just our land, but our minds. We need to use our history and culture to unite ourselves. In order to do that, we need to educate ourselves and our children to do what Bob Marley said, which is to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery, right? So that Africa, the richest continent on the earth, where we all come from, can unite economically and politically. That was the vision of our ancestors. So we need to make sure that we fulfill that vision. The Honorable Marcus Mazaya Garvey talked about Africa for Africans, those at home and abroad. So even if you think you're not African, you are an African. It doesn't matter where you were born, you're an African. So please come out to Pan-African Women's Day, Saturday, August the 18th at 3.30 p.m. at the Jamaican Canadian Community Centre. The entry fee is based on affordability because we know our people's circumstances vary. So whatever you can afford to give will be a donation. And that donation is going to go towards us sending one of our members, a young warrior brother, Della, to Ghana around September 14th, 2018, just next month. So whatever proceeds we get from Pan-African Women's Day, from the vendors, from the entry fees, we're sending him to Ghana for um, the All African People's Revolutionary Party. That's our organization. It's our 50th anniversary this year, 50, 50 years after the vision and work that Dr. Kwame Nkrumah did and our great leader Kwame Toure. We are still not liberated as a people. So we're having a major conference in Ghana. And so the proceeds from Pan-African Women's Day will go to that. So tonight we're celebrating uh, Brother Sankofa's birthday. We're celebrating um, Haiti, the land of Toussaint Louverture, and Dessalines and other great revolutionaries. We're celebrating that tonight. And then we have another positive event coming up on Saturday, August the 18th. I want to thank Brother Dre for the great work that you are doing, my brother, with FAM, educating, organizing through, um, you know, your YouTube uh, filming and, and 
empowering our people. I want to thank you for that. Thank you to all of our listeners. Peace, love and blessings to all of you.